Hey, what's up, everyone? It's TK, T-U-R-E-S. Ignore the color scheme. I'm using it for a certain reason. My camera sucks. It's early morning. Other issues going on in the house. But anyways, Psalm 100 Bucket List has dropped. It's on Netflix, Hulu, Crunchyroll, wherever else you can find the series. And I've already shown it off before. I am a fan of the series. I've been reading it. Before the anime was even announced, before the live action was announced, I'm probably not gonna watch the live action. I don't really like live action stuff for the things that I really enjoy. And uh, yeah, you're gonna see me holding my controller because this is the mic I use, because it's way better than any other mic I have. But, anyways, Zon 100 Bucket List, or Zon 100 Other Dead Bucket List, or whatever you wanna call it. Um, So, yeah, it's pretty accurate, pretty dang accurate with. The sequence of events that happened in the manga that you see here and i did review the contents of this manga to just double check on some things and some things i was like maybe they changed that a little bit but no they actually didn't they kept it pretty thing accurate everything has been accurate so if you haven't watched the episode then you better go watch the episode because i'm gonna spoil certain things that's going on with it which is not that much to spoil so the main character his name is akira tendo they call him tendo right now that you saw in this first episode because that's the proper thing to do in Japan. You call him by your, the last name, not the first name. So his name is Akira. Um, he finally gets a job at, uh, I believe it's like a production company. And uh, it's kind of like his dream job. He finally gets a job. Everyone seems very happy, a nice, friendly work environment. Uh, and he sees a lady that he likes, has a crush on. So pretty much the first day of work goes very well. They out eating, celebrating, having food and whatever. And when he's thinking he's about to go home, they all put their badges on and they hit their butt right back to work. And this is when he realizes something's not right. And his life becomes pretty shitty because he ends up doing an overnighter then he works another day. So he pretty much works at this place two days without going home. He sleeps at the office the first two days of his work and uh the only thing else pretty much keep him going was to crush like he didn't really like the job he would kind of i guess he was kind of wanting to leave maybe but the girl that he had crush on her name is otary he had a crush on her so she was real nice to him real friendly so that was keeping him going uh shortly after you find out that she's 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 doing it with the with the boss pretty much. I'm trying to keep it PG, even though it's not really PG, but who knows might be watching it. So uh, yeah, that happens. Um he finally gets to go home. Uh he's eating, watching TV, trying to just get as much rest as possible as he can before he has to go back to work and he pretty much dozes off. Wakes up the next morning, he finds out. Hold on, my bad. Let me I gotta pause this real quick. All right, back. I had to charge on my laptop. I had to plug it in. Anyways, so he finds out that he has an unpaid bill. So he's going to pay the bill, and this is when he discovers that there's some zombies going on. What well, is like a zombie? Like the, I guess the person he had to pay was a zombie. Um, and he's not really taking it in yet, like realizing what is actually happening. So. Um, when he finally does realize that he's running away, well, still when he was running away, he doesn't really, really realize it until he gets to the rooftop where you see this nice, pretty scene. And that's when he finally realizes, yo, there's zombies everywhere. I don't got to go to work tomorrow. I'm free. And he's happy as hell. It's because he don't have to go to work tomorrow. And uh, you get a nice little chase scene of him running from the zombies real nice colorful i like what they did uh because like the blood it's like it is red blood but there are also like other colors of blood like i guess it's like a uh artistic idea i guess i don't know but you'll see blood it's gonna be red blood, but you might see some purple some green whatever you know types of blood and uh yeah just nice scene they're playing some good sounding music and uh yeah 
when things calm down, he, he realizes that he takes it all in, realizes he don't got to go work anymore. He decides to go see the girl, Otari, that he has a crush on. And uh, he just, like, he looked for a number, I guess, in the, I guess they got the addresses in the employee handbook or something. But he finds her address, goes to see her. Um, and he walks in because he was, he, he just checked the door knob, open it up. He sees a set of shoes. Standing there is the dead boss, the zombified boss. And uh, pretty much Akira, even though the boss is zombified, now he's already a zombie. He stands up to his boss, tell him, like, I'm, I'm done with this job, whatever. And he charges in against, charges in with the boss, pushes him out the room, though. Bam. Body. And uh, then he sees the crush. He sees that she's zombified. He's feeling, of course, sad. You know, maybe, you know, maybe a little remorseful. I don't know. But he's feeling sad. He's in his feelings. And uh, he says goodbye to her and leaves. And then, at the end of the episode, we pretty much seen him uh, going to the store, getting some things to eat. And he's kind of like, Still t- taking everything in. I don't gotta go to work anymore. Um, I got so much free time now. What am I going to do? And episode in there. So episode two, we're gonna get into the bucket list. This is when he starts to develop his bucket list on things he wanna do before he becomes a zombie. So yeah, overall, like I said, it it went it went uh, according to. How the manga is is pinpoint accurate. Got the details right, everything. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about, more about the production of the anime itself before I wrap this up. Very beautiful anime. Looks very nice. I like the art style. It looks very, very good. Uh, the sound is very good as well. Oh, I watched it with my headphones on, but it's, the sound quality is very good. I like Akira's voice. Um. Darn Sal, everything else is mwah, mwah, magnificent. So, so far, Zone 100, pretty da- damn good. Pretty fire. It's fire right now. So, if you haven't checked it out, the, uh, if you haven't checked it out, and you just check, you just came to my review, you always need to go watch that first episode of Zone 100 of the Dead. Zone 100 of the Dead bucket list. Or it's bucket list of the Dead, actually, I should say, yeah. Zone 100 bucket list of the Dead. Go check it out. Cause you haven't, your ass is missing out because that thing is fire for real. But anyways, I'm gonna do weekly reviews of this anime. Um, so this is just, this is chapter one of the manga. Uh, so we got plenty more to go. Can't wait to see everything else that I have read play out in motion in anime form. But anyways, I'm TK TK Games Bar. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. Post a comment down below if you're a fellow Zom 100 reader or you're just new to the series and you want to get my thoughts, have a little conversation down below in the comments. You feel free to do it. You can follow me on Twitter. It's down there. Y'all see it. TK Rodriguez, TK. That's my Twitter. Um, but yeah, until next time, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later.